So who's playing football this year now, you fucking redneck fucking ass white fucking dick? <laughs> you fucking ugly fucking cunt and rat. Whatever the fuck you are, you fucking stupid New South Wales detective cunts. Right now I'm taking a shit on New South Wales. Wait, oh, look, it's fucking toilet paper right there. I'm in the disabled toilet. Because the New South Wales detectives are disabled, I thought I'd come into the disabled toilet to do this while I shit on them in the spirit. Fucking arrested for scratching a car, you fucking ugly tits. Get the fuck out of my face. Fucking blew it completely out of proportion. Scratches a car and fucking the news comes out and the world ends and you fucking fraudulent fucking pieces of fucking... Oh, that J word's in my mouth, but I can't call you that. Shit. Thinking I'm going to play rugby league this year. Mind you, Australians, when I was arrested, they were talking about rugby league my build, blah, blah, blah. And who do I fucking come behind before? Matthew Lodge's mum. Senior Sergeant Lodge. Is it Karen Lodge? Or whatever the fuck it is. Oh, my God. She's old enough to be my mother. And she's there fucking looking at me with this goofy face. <laughs> fucking Almadonna. Fuck me, dude. Of all fucking people. And you fucking people thought these cunts weren't trying to make me take them seriously. Because, obviously, they they don't look good. I never... Uh, how do I put it? It looks like they tried to... What it looks like is that these white, capable, incapable, talentless idiots tried to eliminate the competition and then leave it to the last minute when there's minimal development and when they're getting older and when they don't have that tenacity, like that fire for rugby league because it's for something else now. It's not that I'm not strong and more fucking vicious than ever. It's just that it's for something else now. So now they want to fucking go all out and try to make me play rugby league. Well, that's desperate. Putting me before fucking Mrs. Wh uh, Mrs. Lodge fucking... Acting like a fucking... Oh, fuck me, dude. I don't know where to start. Yeah, thank you, Mrs. Lodge. I got my, uh, my weapon back. That is That I apparently got charged for, too. So I've cleaned your files up. I'm uncharging myself and pissing on that sheet. And No, sorry, mate. That's not illegal to hold a multi-tool. And uh, you can go fuck yourself. So I'm um, just... I thought I would forcefully get my tool back. And I'm sure New South Wales police will be humiliated from top to bottom about that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, this is a personal war against me and the New South Wales police, and it's a one of one. Uh, Nathan one, New South Wales police zero. Um, and I'm in this toilet next to Goulburn to uh, shit on them to prove that. Uh, I've got another month before I go to court. But I don't know if I can get the train back there. My, my back! I'm fucking doing your shit now, and I'm sitting down, and it fucking hurts. I can't sit for more than two minutes. What am I going to get? A plane? A train? There's nothing I can sleep in or lie down in the whole way. So I'm, I'm pretty much uh, grounded at this Supermax facility. Well, that's fucked. How do I get How do I get to court? No, sorry, New South Wales Police. I'll be playing Tai Chi this year. We know uh, rugby league, and I'll be making numerous videos of me doing Tai Chi. I've already made one. I'll make a few more, but just give me a little bit. I've got a few things to do. So, uh, rugby league? No. And uh, there's nothing the police in New South Wales can do about it. Or if they want to get the help of their Asia friends. Because this looks commercially bad. We're supposed to be able to coerce people in doing whatever we want. It's not so much about how good Nathan is anymore. It's, that's, that's long gone. For five or ten years now, it's all about compliance. We must be able to tell people whatever the fuck we want them to do. No, sorry, you white redneck sons of fucking prostitutes and worms. You'll fucking have nothing. Fuck it. As a matter of fact, you'll end up in a fuck... I won't tell you what you'll end up like. I don't want to tell you who you need to ask the hard way. Because he won't really be happy if he found out that that's what happens when you fuck around. 
and I'm sure he'll appreciate my gesture if he knows who I'm talking about. So go on, try coercion some more, you fucking ugly cunt.